Now that we've learned how to plant a bare root rose, let's talk about planting a container rose. The difference between bare root and container is bare root, the season is generally in spring, wherever you happen to live. A company like Jackson Perkins is going to ship them at the right time for planting in your area, so don't worry about when you can plant them. You'll be taken care of. Container roses, you have a lot more versatility. You can go through the summer and even into the fall in some areas. Fall planting is actually quite good. It's a good time to get plants established. So the first thing again I've done is dig my hole. I've dug a hole, not the two by two foot hole like we talked about because I've amended the bed. I'm going to take the pot, slip it in to make sure that I've got the right depth. Again, here's my bud union right in there. That's my bud union. I want to make sure that's buried and I'm going to be absolutely fine now that I know that it's going to be buried. So I'm going to take this out, get a little bit of mulch, compost again like we did before with the bare root rows, mix it up a little. This time I don't need to build a mound or a cone because I don't have that problem, but I do want to put a little bit at the bottom. That way those roots at the bottom of this plant have got a place to go and got some great soil to get into. Take the rose, gently lift it upside down, slip it out of the pot. I'm going to check the root system. This is beautiful. See that? I've got roots beginning to emerge, but not so much. If it's root bound, I may have taken my clippers and trimmed it a little bit, but this one's absolutely fine. We'll just gently lower her in, check my depth. This is a packing material, by the way, that Jackson Perkins uses. It's a wood product. I'm going to leave it in. It's going to help with weed control, help keep the root zone moist and cool. At the same time, that'll break down and become more composted in my soil. So go ahead and start filling around this container rose like this. It's a great way to go. Use my fingers to kind of tamp it down a little bit. This is why you want good waterproof gloves, by the way. There we go. Take my water bucket. Let's go ahead and seat this thing in. Give it a good drink, get those air pockets out, and continue basically to backfill with my soil. Get it nice and around there, like so. Perfect. That's a nice step. I like that. I'm happy that's seated in well. I've got some mulch behind me, which I'll go ahead and spread back around. Again, mulching is a key to keeping the root zone moist and cool. And the last thing I'll do is make sure it gets watered in one last time. Now that the roses are in the ground, let's talk about when to start feeding them. They're different for bare roots and containers. Bare root roses, I don't want you to feed them right away. What we want you to do is wait for a while. Wait till you get like two or three really good sets of leaves beginning to emerge. Then you can go ahead and fertilize. Let those roots get established. The container rose I can feed right away. In fact, I'm going to put it on the same container feeding program that we have in the feeding video that we did. So think about this when you're planting roses. Bare root roses or container roses. Bare root roses, like I said at the beginning, they're not scary. You're going to have great success with them. Great for spring planting, getting established in your garden. Container roses extend your rose planting season well in the fall. And with a company like Jackson and Perkins, the roses you get in containers in the fall, they're fresh from California. They have been sitting in a back lot somewhere. You have confidence that you know that you plant that rose, it's going to do extremely well. So planting a rose is really not that scary. If you planted other plants, you can plant roses. For Jackson Perkins, this is Paul Zimmerman, and thanks for joining us in the garden.